In our last video, we were trying to get perfect ice down there by the rink. 500,000 BTUs of propane heat! We ended up building this, which gave us real nice ice, but uh, why does ice have to be limited to the hockey rink with this? I've unlocked endless possibilities. We could put ice anywhere. And then I thought, why do I have to walk all the way down there and tie up my skates? Why can't I just put them on right there on the steps and skate down? So that's what we're doing. We're making a skating trail today. We're gonna start at the stairs. We're gonna come down here around the igloo. Then we're gonna come flying down this hill, past the fire pit, and then we're gonna hit the jump onto the hockey rink. Hayden, are you excited to be the first one to test it? Speaking of building ice, this video is sponsored by Built Bar. They have 18 delicious flavors. Can't decide which one's my favorite and they're packed with protein. We'll talk more about that later in the video, but let's get this trail going. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay. I've got a plan. See, we can't really put water on top of this fluffy stuff. We gotta pack it down first. We gotta get it wet, and then we'll finish it. We'll hit it with the rake. So, uh, Hayden, we gotta find something flat, big, and heavy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here we go. Uh, it's, uh, nah, not working. What? Yeah, sorry, we need a different plan. All right, Ugh. I think this will do the trick. It's nice and smooth, pretty hefty, got some weight to it. So we're gonna pack the snow down. I'm gonna spray it, repeat. I think this will work. I've never built a skating trail, but I'm optimistic. Do you guys think this is gonna work? Whoa, almost dropped it. I think so, let's go. I'm gonna get the hose to spray this down. We'll pack it and then spray the next area, pack it, spray the next area. By the time we've packed a few, it'll be frozen. And then just finish it with the, the rake. I think it's genius. I feel like a piece of plywood or something probably would have worked better. I don't have a piece of plywood, Hayden. It's good DIY, just grab your, uh, you know, the dasher board. The dasher got. board you got kicking around yeah, the kitchen. So everyone's got one or two. Careful, this thing's loaded. Do you think we should do a test area first, or are you just going for it? Yeah, this this area is the test area. I mean, <laughs> this whole thing is a test area if you really think about it. Hey, why are you so useless? Can't you film and lift the dashboard at the same time? Timber! Tin. <laughs> Timber. <Burton. laughs> oh yeah, we can ride this down there. Oh. <laughs> Come on, jump on it! Hey, I'm diving this going! This is looking good. Look! It's still got like a, a foot of snow under it though. It's just gonna mm. squish down when we step on it. Dang it! <laughs> You're so right. Yeah, let's try packing the dry stuff. Is snow dry? Yeah, like, a, like, like a, does that look wet? As a Canadian, this is, this is dry snow. It's not packing snow, it's like dust, you know? It's like sand. Does that look, looks like dry or wet? It turns wet. So it's not pressing it down enough. We just need more water. We need maximum water flow. I'm just taking this off. There's no turning back now. Okay, Hayden, hit it. This may take longer than we thought. We're making some progress. It's, uh, it's not skatable yet. That's for no sure. Close. <laughs> Not even close, but we're making our way. We're almost at the hill. Our uh, tactic so far, uh, soak it down, stomp it down, smooth it out. Repeat. We're getting the base. After that, we have to make it nice and skatable. Wish us luck. Think my neighbors ever worry about me? Got rid of the dashboard, that just wasn't working. Too much surface area, I think. We're gonna continue working down the hill, and uh, this might be an all night affair. <sighs> but we will prevail. I'm not sure I wanna come down here. Oh, Hayden, nice that you could join me. What were you doing for the past two hours? Since Hayden was just sitting up in the office doing nothing, I'll show you the progress we've made today. So I just had that black rubber mat sitting on top of the snow and it's already melting it down. So that's like instant skating trail right there. We need like 50 of those, lay them down. <laughs> just don't even do anything. What were we thinking?
there's one wacko in every neighborhood and our neighborhood doesn't have one so come on look at that if only it wasn't three degrees for americans learn celsius convert already all right no one uses fahrenheit everyone else uses celsius it's a little too warm to build any serious ice so i'm just gonna soak the snow down a little bit and then let it sit why don't you guys come back when it's a little colder Day three of the rink build, and as you can see, we got a scuff of snow. And I'm thinking this is actually to our advantage because it'll fill in all the low spots. It's like mortar falling from the sky. Mortar, is that the right word? So what I'm gonna do is scrape it down with this shovel, and that's gonna scrape off all the high spots. Low spots will be filled with snow. Hit it with water, and then it should give us a more level, even layer. Let's find out. I thought it was gonna be easier to shovel. <laughs> see? Like this is good, we'll fill all that in. I think, yeah, I think that's gonna work. We'll push the snow off to the side so we're clearing the snow and building a wall at the same time. This black mat actually worked really well. It's like, if you stand here, that's compacted. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. you couldn't stand there before. No, oh, and you can easily build ice on that, so that's a solid technique. Maybe next year. Next summer, I buy like 15 of these and just lay them on top on a sunny day. Stay tuned for next year for that video. <laughs> Day seven, eight, I don't know. I've been working on the weekend as usual. We got a full path. There's hard ice underneath. It snowed, but the kids were sledding on this. And I think it's an advantage. They packed all the snow because it, it was like hard. We could skate on it, but it was kind of lumpy. And I think the kids sledding down it, they packed all the snow in and made it nice and slick. Like, whoo, whoo. Okay, okay. I think we're ready. This is it. One more shovel, a couple more floods. Come back tomorrow and this will be ready. looking really smooth. Uh, I think it's time to test it out. Let's do a built bar test. If this can make it all the way down, I think so can we. Ready? Let's go. Each built bar is packed with 17 grams of protein and only 130 calories, giving it lots of energy to get down this trail. And the texture and consistency is smoother than this ice. There's also 18 flavors, so many I can't even keep up. Oh, the slip slipped a little there. Don't worry, I'm okay. All right, big thanks to Built Bar for sponsoring this. If you want to pick some up, we got a coupon code in the video description. And I guess it's time for us to try this trail now. Hayden, I hope you're ready, and I think we should probably get Mason as well. You know, to send him down there. So stay tuned for the next video where we lace him up, we skate on this thing, and uh, maybe I'll do like a backflip or something. No, I definitely not. <laughs> definitely not doing a back backflip. Uh, stay tuned in the next video, guys. We're gonna be testing this later. Oh, no, 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 no,